Hi, my name is Buffy, and I'm getting ready to talk about the fourth part of my five part of eating disorder segment I'm putting together for all of you to understand that we uh, are in this together. We are learning from each other. I'm doing this just to help someone out there who can re relate with me. Um, today we're going to be talking about taking control of your life. Well, when you get over those, um, the, what holds you back, what makes you feel like you're eating, you know, uh, you're having eating is issue. So what you, we're doing is basically we're going to discuss, um, when you have days that are, which is bad, and then you got good days over here. Okay, well, in here, in this middle part, it's like, uh, uh, this is, that's you, and that looks like a spin, you know, like going around and around, like if you're in the washing machine and your days are not going anywhere, you feel like your head is spinning, and you just don't know where you're going, which direction, right or left. Um, basically, what you discuss is, you know, you start to, uh, figuring out what your feelings are. What get up makes you feel that you're on your bad days you uh, choose to not want to eat your food or to uh, overeat. Um, it, it is common, you know, and many, you know, people out there are going through eating disorder. And it doesn't just mean going to anorexic or going um, a few, you know, a little bit heavier. Not, I don't like using you know, uh, names, uh, what level of heavy, uh, uh, side, you know, if you feel like you're about extra few pounds, uh, heavier than you did yesterday and which is okay. Uh, you know, then it kind of gives you to wake up. It uh, big, feel that, you know, motion that, Oh, Oh, oh I need to do something. I, I have to do something for myself. So what I figured is discussing about the bad days is that, you know, like for instance, that you have, you know, some, you wake, wake up and you feel like you're having a rotten day to start with and nothing's going right, or you feel like you're, something is just not going anywhere and the world's against you and, and basically you just don't have it together. And that's why you see this little thing in the middle, it's like a spinning and your whole day is going to go like this all day because you're having a bad day. Or it can go the opposite. It can go all the other way, go that way, which you're going to have a good day. And on the good days, when you have like something that's going to be exciting that you're having in, someone inspire you. And you get to a point that, okay, I'm going to have a good day. Even on the days that you're having bad days on, turn it around. So take this spindle going from this way and turn it that way, which is is really quick. You can revert your days, you know, middays. All right, you have a bad day for half of the day and got good days the rest of the day. Well, then you're doing something to yourself. You're taking charge of yourself and you're going to say empowering words to yourself. What you do is you, you say positive things. You know, um, one of the things I like to do, and I'm going to be starting myself, is basically make journals. You know, basically I'm going to have one book for goals, the other book to say something nice about me. What can I say that's going to make me feel good to start with my day? These are the things that are a great idea. I just thought, hey, try it out. On the days that you feel discouraged and it affects on your eating and you get too busy, you forget to eat, and it's easy to revert back to um, kind of like going into the you know eating disorder issue. Well, it it is common, and basically you have to uh, figure out what is causing your issue for that day and. You have to get to the root of your problem. And once you get the root of that reason, then you understand, okay, I'm going to get through it. 
and then I'm going to start trying to get, you know, get through it and then move forward. And then, um, when you have, um, days that you feel like you just want to, um, give up and you feel like nothing is going to happen or, you know, and you just want to get through it. Yeah. And no one doesn't care about you and you don't feel the support you need. That's where you get this feelings and mood. Mm -hmm. Um, and basically you just feel all this negative feeling. Well, take this feelings and mood and go positive, not negative. And once you get through those, you push yourself forward. You know, like for me for today, I kind of have not a great day. And I said, you know what? I am going to get through this at a better positive way. I'm going to, you know, just because I feel down, I'm not going to get enough, you know, responses or, you know, posting things on YouTube and, you know, and getting people re feedback or whatever, or, you know, do they like it or not? I'm not going to let them um, get down on me or put me down thinking that, oh, well, no one, no. I think that I set myself up for failure and negative and I'm going to turn that around and say hey I'm doing this because I want you guys to understand that you're not alone and I want to uh, make sure I can do my part to help you guys out and when I decided to um, take my negative day turn it into positive then I'm gonna have the best everlasting caring loving day to myself and I went to the mirror and I decided to take, take my hand and hug myself, look in the mirror and say, I love myself. I look great and I will uh, have a better day. Once I did that, I kind of felt that positive feeling. That I had that shift in myself and I know that we are going to get, you know, this rough day over with. Put it, you know, put it in the trash can. You know, the bad days, just put it in the trash can. So when you get that good days, put it on, you know, on your, all your wards uh, shelf, you know, in, like theoretically. And then you put it on the ward shelf and you think, oh, oh, something happened great. You know, someone sent you a card or someone sent you a gift. So anything they do to make your day is going to make you great. And then you're going to feel so overwhelmed and joyed for everything you do. Reward yourself. Give yourself the best time to, you know, it doesn't require going out to eat all the time or getting ice cream or whatever controls your eating issue. Basically, reward yourself. You know, like, uh, as you notice, I uh, colored my hair today. And I decided I'm going to look really uh, my best. And I want to look good for you guys to understand that I am meaning with all my heart. And I want you guys to understand that eating disorder is my sincere passion. I, I'm ex basically experienced by myself uh, in my past. And I thought, you know, I would say early this week, I had a, or I should say last week, I had a bad week and I said, I am done. I'm not going to let any negative feeling. I'm not going to think de uh, depression. I am not going to think any of those negative thoughts. I'm going to start thinking positive and I'm going to take charge of my life. Basically, that's what I'm discussing in this whole thing is taking control back to your heart. And once you control yourself back, you're top of the world. And you're going to uh, uh, exceed. And when you decided that, you're going to, oh, okay, well, whatever happens that day, mm -mm. always think to say something nice about yourself. And maybe that will turn your whole eating disorder, you know, from negative to positive, you know, and uh, whatever uh, lifestyle change you're doing, it t turns it all around. And then you're going to start feeling good about yourself. And then you're going to go, you want to impress people. You want to think, oh, I'm going to go out there and start getting, um, you know, like stars uh, on my chart and saying, oh, I did a good job today. Well, at least this way, if you do this to yourself, you are taking control of your life. <laughs> so I want to get, um, uh, basically... 
One thing uh, uh, for sure to tell you that you will get through this. It is, it is a battle, but you can make it. And when you break all the bad habits and then go to the good habits, you will have better days and you will look better. And, you will, and don't look at the scale saying, oh, I need to lose about five pounds. Forget that. And think that I'm going to have a great day. I don't care what the scale says. And the scale says to me, you are going to look your best. Think of that. So anyways, I should get going and I got to move on with my part five and uh, please uh, subscribe to me or like or comment, whatever you want to do. And, and it's greatly appreciated. And and I also want to thank you for your time for t uh, watching this part four segment and it means to, uh, to me and I thought it's time for me to start getting out to you guys and understand that this is some things that I'm going through teaching myself to teach you guys what helps me. So anyways, have a great day. My name is Buffy and hope to hear from you soon. And I can't wait to get this whole exciting because I got my fifth part coming up. Okay, thank you.